Hello everybody, it is February 26, 2021, and I'm out at the barrel today with another motor. This is a 1963 Evinrude Sport Twin 10 horse. Uh, this is the other one that I did along with the first one of these that I made a video of uh, several weeks back. And this is another motor that I bought from my friend Ron Baker. I bought this one from him at Constantine last year. Um, when he bought this one from a marina near there that was selling out, uh, they had closed up and they were selling out inventory and, uh, he sold it to me. It looks to be pretty low hours. I don't think it's got a lot of runtime on it. It's actually in very nice shape. Uh, the paint looks good. The hood looks good other than it's got a lot of what appears to be oil staining on it that doesn't want to come out. But anyway, uh, you'll see the hood when I run it on the lake. I need to dial this thing in, so I'm going to test run it here in the tank. I assumed that the marina had serviced this thing when it was in, but it had a gear case leak. Uh, the shift rod O-ring was leaking, and it had... Uh, uh, freeze crack repair on the skeg so I know it had gotten water in it at some point and broken and that was repaired and it had new oil in it but it still leaked so I went ahead and took the gear case apart replaced the shift rod o-ring put everything back together the other seals were tested out fine so I left those alone uh, went through and reset the points the points were nearly brand new had very little run time on them. Maybe just when I ran it in the test tank after getting it to see if it would start. And, uh, I mean, it was, there were just a couple of very small burn marks where it had run, but almost no time on those. So I left those alone, just cleaned them up and reset them. Uh, spark plug wires looked good. Um, checked to make sure that they were in the coils like they're supposed to be freshened up that end but other than that I left the, the wires alone um, it had new coils in it new condensers in it so it looked like the ignition had been probably was serviced uh, short of replacing the plug wires so I left everything as is there other than set, setting and cleaning the points um, went through the carburetor it had a, a recent kit in it, uh, very clean inside, so I just sprayed it out and put it back together to make sure there wasn't something in there that I did, couldn't see, and replaced the packing washers and the boss gasket, and that is all. Uh, I did replace the bowl gasket for the filter and clean the fuel filter on this as well. I put new fuel lines on it. Those were about to rot off they had gotten really hard and i just i couldn't pull them off there without breaking them so they definitely needed to be replaced but it's got all new fuel lines on it now too um water pump impeller was in good shape so i left that in there uh, i can probably still run that for two or three seasons so uh, there wasn't any point in changing that yet uh so other than that i think we're ready to fire this thing up and see if we can get it dialed in here in the tank and get it ready for the boat so let's start it up and see what it'll do. I have not started this yet. Cold start. First time I've, I've attempted to start it since uh, going through it. It did run before. It ran well before. So should do well. Let's see. Okay. 
cold, that's not bad. Water pump's working great. It's about 42 degrees here today. It's a lot warmer than it has been. Hopefully we get some ice thaw in here pretty soon. We'll get the pond open and the lakes open.